uh, our plan is actually to establish a company called Urban Farm. Uh, it is actually uh, in uh, it. Uh, it is actually a new venture. And it is uh, the next slide, please, sir. Wow, that looks great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this uh, Urban uh, Urban Farm, the headquarters is in Delhi, and uh, we are targeting five. Uh, uh, we are targeting five uh, Taiwan state, uh, cities in the first phase, and we'll gradually expand to all other cities. The next slide, sir. Coming to urban farming, uh, it is actually a growing trend these days that uh, we can grow anything in our own balcony uh, without uh, without uh, being uh, afraid of uh, having uh, less space or uh, no time at all. Uh, companies have actually uh, grabbed at this opportunity, and we also aim to uh, establish a company based on this uh, under this uh, uh, demand. So, coming to urban farming, urban farming is actually the process of uh, cultivating or growing food in uh, in and around urban areas. As in, like uh, today, cities are not uh, any more uh, uh, separate uh, separate homes where you can have your own backyard, your own backyard garden, a farm garden kind of thing. Space is very restricted here with the growing population. So, what what uh, innovations have been done is like uh, you can grow everything in your own balcony within a sp uh, square foot of uh, suppose say two square feet you can actually put three three plants as from okay so and uh, this also evolves not only for uh, growing our uh, vegetables and fruits it also con con includes uh, like animal husbandry kind of thing and aquaculture beekeeping the kind of uh, and horticulture also and uh, uh, our company aims to change the stand of farm to table and convert it to balcony to table. So in uh, previously it was coming from the rural farms. It was coming to our table, like we say, farm to fork kind of thing. Now we are actually changing it to balcony to table. And coming uh, for the next point, we're actually a customer centric and employee employee friendly establishment. And we are actually very uh, very well. Uh, we actually go uh, by our values, which we'll be seeing later. And our products are designed in such a way that they are user friendly and also keeping in mind uh, the the needs of uh, the urban dweller. Uh, next slide, sir. Wow. Uh, this is uh, our team, uh, uh, Pujita, Abhishek, Pr uh, me, and uh, Pratik. Um, yeah, and the next team, sir. Uh, you can actually, yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, com coming to our vision and mission. Uh, our vision is actually, uh, if you see like, uh, we actually want to use innovation and uh, earth-friendly materials to help humanity as a whole. And we actually uh, think that uh, providing uh, healthy, nutritious, and delicious food just for, as the way they are without adding any chemicals kind of thing. We are going for an organic, non-GMO type of uh, organization. And coming to our mission statement, uh, we actually uh, want to inspire youth in and around the cities to take up urban farming as a challenge and come, come forward and uh, build their own startups on this. Next slide, sir. Coming to our values, uh, we are actually uh, we are proud to present our values. So we, are, we actually have uh, four values. Uh, the first value and the most important one for us is actually innovation. And under this innovation, uh, we did not set out to uh, improve our agriculture because it already exists. We actually started over. We actually are trying to think new how to how to make uh, how to make us ourselves into agriculturists uh, rather than the other way around. And the next uh, next uh, value is caring. We want to be a good force in the world, and we place our, our customers and our team at our, close to our heart and take care of them in every way possible. And the next value is responsibility. And here, uh, we not only uh, care for profits, or uh, we not only are we are not only money minded. We actually uh, take responsibility for all our actions, and we uh, we also. Uh, uh, go based on the economic. Uh, we are also ecologically friendly a company, and the fourth one is we as we aspire to be engaging. We engage. We want to engage all kinds of uh, age groups, uh, like old people, young age, and mostly we target the youth. Next slide, sir. Yeah, uh, Pujita, I can carry on. Yes, thank you, Pradeep sir. 
good evening uh, sir and batchmates i am pujita koshika i'll be talking about the market research we have done for the urban farming uh, for this market research we have floated a google form on which like almost we have got 132 re responses and we have got to know about the different uh, interest of people uh, on this urban farming and this uh, uh, most of the these responses are from the semi urban and urban areas of which like 84.7% people were having idea about uh, urban farming and uh, uh, coming to the activity where 42.7% people actually think the urban farming is majorly practiced because people like towards their own home grown food like we always have this uh, liking towards our own home grown food and our uh, own taste and uh, 36.1% people thinks urban farming is being done for aesthetic pleasure or uh, the increase the beauty of the home and uh, other 16.7% people thinks it is done for the commercial activity for uh, producing money and uh, for people who have been practicing this urban farming have, are getting the raw materials uh, like almost 42.4% people are getting the raw materials from retailers and 22% are getting from the wholesalers and there are other people also who directly get the raw materials from the uh, farmers which are almost like 17% and uh, what are the, these mostly produced foods in their home like this balcony or their courtyard what they have in their home and what are vegetables herbs fruits legumes flowers and greens which include like spinach methi or uh, uh, even coriander etc are like these are the major uh, things which people produce in their urban farms what they have and uh, coming to the budget like uh, as we all also know in cities or areas we have like very less amount of space available or area for the growing this uh, farms in our home but so major or majority of the people who are following this urban farm were uh, uh, growing below 100 square feet in their house they are amounting was 62% and uh, they are ready to spend like almost 1500 rupees for uh, this urban farm per month and uh, we have even asked people about what are the uh, reasons for not practicing this urban farming till now and they have said this lack of time space are these major reasons for not practicing this urban farming so uh, we have got this um, one opportunity where people also have said they have lacked the skill of producing these uh, farms like uh, so this has uh, our opportunity where we can provide the people their raw materials required to produce this their own farms and also the skill they need required are uh, needed for this producing of uh, uh, urban farms so uh, like when we have asked people like if you are uh, ready to pay and learn this skill uh, 90, almost 93.1% people are ready to uh, acquire the skill of growing urban farms and grow having their own farm in the field this is maybe because of this uh, recent times where people have been more uh, concerned about their health and having their own uh, farms where they cannot go out for vegetables and also towards the nutrition which uh, knowledge has been increased in recent times and this pandemic has actually created has our business and idea uh, where we can provide people with uh, what they want the concerned about their health also thanks like this and coming to the product portfolio uh, one example i want to quote here please when i have visited the irhr bangalore which stands for indian institute of horticulture research where uh, i have seen that the uh, there is a machine where the uh, farmers or people who want to have their uh, own seeds will be getting uh, in a customized manner so that uh, like there are different needs for people who wants like if 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 i'm running a farm in my home house i'll be needing a very small quantity of seeds but if i'm a farmer and i want to have my own farm then i'll be needing a very high quantity of seeds so this customization of the products is uh, very important for any company to have so this is our major motive in our company also we will be providing a very customized product type of products to our customers which include urban farm grow, grow itself kits which includes the raw material cocoa peat soils and even the seeds and everything which which are available in a one kit uh, and we'll be having a price based on this type of uh, uh, crop and also that different types of uh, the area they want to grow and also we'll be providing different seeds like tomato brinjal chili onion and even greens and flowering plants and what all they have to grow and they want to grow these are all very customized products based on their needs and also while growing this uh, farms uh, we also need the garden tools like sicketers scissors and everything so even uh, this we will be provided by us and also one more thing like uh, as a consultancy we also be providing the required training needed for people to grow their own uh, farm uh thank you sir next will be continue thank you good evening sir and back i am abhishek akla i'll be talking about target market uh 
talking about target market we uh, we are thinking about uh, urban dwellers of the five metropolitan cities that is delhi mumbai visakhapatnam bangalore and hyderabad are our target group our products mostly cater to the needs of the people staying in the high rise apartments with less or constricted space to grow, uh, grow plants the ever growing population of the cities have been the major problem for lack of space urban farms believe that a small square foot of space can be used to uh, vegetable planters and pushing on the strategy we can urban uh, we at urban farms aim to transform the lifestyle of the concrete jungles and uh, we have market strategies first of all uh, like uh, with uh, health consciousness uh, growing all over the world many people prefer organic uh, home grown produce fresh from the balcony to the table we at urban farms are customer centric and our strategies are as follows like first is market segmentation with health consciousness uh, growing uh, like uh, people uh, are trying to uh, grow their own own uh, own vegetables in their balcony so in in the market segmentation we will separate the target groups and focus on selling the products to them through our analysis and market research we found out that the people in high rise apartments are our target as uh, they have less space so they can uh, grow more vegetables in their uh, balcony uh, and they can use uh, use it for their consumption and unique selling pro uh, proposition uh, is our product will guarantee more nutritional value and hygiene benefits with organic and non gmo seeds we will offer our seeds packet in 50 gram and 100 gram we will ensure that the delivery of our product is time bound we will directly coordinate and ensure a free and timely supply of all products and implements uh, labeling and packaging will also be done mentioning the necessary things on the label with hours and expiry date will also be supplying the supermarkets and delivering online orders we are also interested in taking orders for events and functions in advance and delivering them on time and uh, the third is market channels and in market channels from the analysis of the data we have collected as a part of our market analysis it is observed that most of our target customers buy their raw materials from the local market so our market channel will encompass delivering the product to the local markets which are easily accessible and convenient for the consumers and in the uh, fourth one is promotion and advertising uh, we will market our product by using digital marketing as well as uh word of mouth marketing and as digital marketing we will be publishing uh, our products in instagram facebook as uh, digital world is a new going in in this present scenario uh we are uh, we will try to increase our reach to the consumers by uh, by the social media campa uh, campaigning uh, our cust customers aware of the nutrition benefits of our product as compared to those offered by the traditional markets and existing market players we would like to do the promotion where we take some of our customers to our plant where we show them the whole process involved in making our product and make how we maintain hygiene at every step in processing and uh, the fifth one is supporting our customers as uh, we will take into consideration the word of mouth marketing we will ensure that our customers are satisfied with our offering and try our our best to check uh, for any loopholes and bottlenecks in the process of offering our products this can be achieved by taking regular feedback from the customers about their experience and what changes they wish to see in the future and the final one is evaluating success as we are new in the market we will continuously evaluate our success and growth to check how we are functioning in the market we will also keep analyzing the presence of our competitors and check their strength and weaknesses to ensure our sustainability these are our targeted uh, customers and easy penetration is possible the quality of our products is premium in quality uh, in quality and net weight is 1 kg without wastage and most important the present situation the safety and health food that the consumer is demanding in the present scenario that's all uh, it will be continued by pratik sir okay uh, thank you good evening sir and batchmates i am pratik shinde oh, i am talking 
I'm Fantastic. talking about. Fantastic, uh, Pratik. Fifteen minutes over. Uh, you can continue, please. Okay, just just indicating that. Okay, okay, okay. I just uh, give the brief. Uh, no, the all product, the best. All the best. Uh, product uh, promotion and policy plan. Uh, as the corona uh, changed uh, the mindset of the peoples of the uh, urban areas because the traceability is the biggest problem in the vegetables they are uh, talking about then they started talking about the urban farming uh, so we leverage this opportunity to in, uh, introduce our project and uh, engage our customer is our main policy so we started the instagram page where the company uh, uh, upload their day to day about information about DIY, uh, diy videos Uh, DIY videos can also be used in the uh, Facebook also. Then social media influencing. We share uh, the link of the YouTube videos, how to cultivate, how to manage our practices, so the customer can get information about that. Then second, uh, second is uh, using the bloggers and influence in the social media because the urban more than the eighty percent of the urban uh, population engaged in the social media. So can we use these bloggers and influencers to uh, market our products? then competition we can run also the competition regarding uh, the uh, growing the vegetables and uh, so can we engage our customers and sharing their experience in the social media on our platform help us to build the good customer relations and uh, getting the new customers also uh, then financial plan uh, our whole financial plan included in our document here only i give the brief about uh, how the our revenue structure is in 2000 uh, uh, initially we uh, think that our total uh, our cost for uh, implementation this plan is about 1 crore 41 lakhs uh, and first year we uh, targeted 10000 customers who's average spending about the 500 per year uh, 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 to our product and uh, from next year we start expanding our customers as well as the average customers spending uh, this is a break even point uh, of our uh, No, for whole financial plan, we uh, get the our uh, break even uh, less than the two years. It is a uh, b- uh, good thing for us, and uh, the break even uh, point uh, we get for the twenty uh, thousand customers only. Uh, that uh, is our uh, uh, may good point. Then uh, the funding requirement, as uh, we require the one point four one crore uh, uh, rupees. so we uh, look for the angel investor who invest the 50 lakhs and the loan uh, we can take from the banks about 1 crore because 25 we are four then 25 lakh per each is not a big amount so we uh, looking towards the loans then uh, the sweat analysis of our company uh, our strength are our give the good quality products the we are mostly focusing the organic products uh, health conscious products and third is the innovation in the product portfolio we innovate the products ready to grow products and balcony to Uh, kitchen uh, table products are the uh, our innovations our uh, weaknesses are the distribution channel is not strong in urban areas we are the new startup uh, no experience pre experience to the this field and the perishable products threats to the local players many local players are operating that that uh, areas they are the our threats main then second is the space then climate and atmospheric condition and penetration rate of the urban farming is less opportunities are the customer are become more Uh, aware about the traceability uh, and uh, less pesticide consumption then increases the accessibility uh, acceptability of the customer 92% of respondent of the survey are interested actually interested in the urban farming which is a, a biggest opportunity for us and demand of the health food and health uh, healthier sy- ecosystem is increased then uh, i will summarize the whole our business plan uh, in the six point the first is a uh, we stands by our vision and the mission to develop the self sufficient cities through the concept of uh, urban farming our values and innovation uh, care responsibility engagement in the farm activities in the cities are our driving force our products are uh, product uh, uh, are user friendly and ecologically sustainable in accord with organic and non gmo products the f- uh, fourth is in the span of the five years we are looking to advance more than the 20 cities and increase our uh, product portfolio also we are uh, remarkable we get the remarkable break even point less than the uh, two years uh, which is a uh, uh, faster than our competitors and last is uh, our uh, by the establishing a good customer base we plan to innovate and transfer the concrete jungles of this urban into the sustainable farm capitals thank you Thank you very much. That's phenomenal, fantastic, very thought-provoking.